Hello everyone, welcome back to WoW Classic Era Hardcore and our Troll Mage. Thank you guys for clicking on the video and joining me here today. I do appreciate it, and I hope you are doing well. We are starting off in Sunrock Retreat. Uh, I think today we take on the Harpies because they are threatening. Torin take pride as the protector of these lands. Undoubtedly, you can guess why I am alarmed with the number of Harpies that dwell here in Stone Talon. The Blood Furies are the source of the increasing number of Harpies in Kalimdor. They encroach upon all likes of life, preventing the innocent from leaving their boundaries. Weird. I need you to cull the Harpies. Go so, murder a bunch of different kinds of Harpies. This has always been an interesting quest, because they, they tend to spawn more of one, less of another, and it's almost variable every oh. time. Calling in the reserves? Uh, oh, this goes to the Great Lift. The Horde does well, keeping our troops fresh. Since the Great War, we have been prosperous here in Kalimdor. I need you to do me a favor. I have a lad by the name of Grish Longrunner protecting the Great Lift in Southern Barrens. Give him this letter. The letter will let him know that I have a reserve warrior coming to relieve him of duty so that he can visit his family. I wonder if that dude ever gets that relief or if in the Cataclysm he is still going to be standing in the same spot. Let's take our shortcut back into the Great Vale. Uh, because otherwise the option we have is to run all the way around. Which, while not awful, is not ideal when we can come right back here. Let's also get some buffs going. Uh, I feel like Dampen Magic is going to be necessary here too. I'm sure at least one type of Harpy. Probably the type of Harpy that we don't need for the quest, but for some reason can't avoid, is going to be a caster. I'm sure of it. You know what? We we forgot one quest. There's one more quest we can do back here. And I forgot it because I actually never knew about it until we started using Questy. It's up on this little ledge. There's the water elemental guy up there and he has a quest for us to go kill fire elementals. Which we will be finding in abundance. So let's just real quick fall back. Another thing we're going to do. Super smart. Uh, because we have an enormous brain which is about the size of a pea, we are going to set our hearthstone here. So that whenever we're done dealing with things in the Charred Vale, we can just, we can just hearth out. We don't have to worry about making the run or risking anything else. I could edit out stuff like this, but then you guys would have a misconception that I'm more efficient and smarter than I actually am, and I don't really think that's fair. What can I do for you? Well, it's noon here on Friday, the week after they announced the Hardcore, official Bliss Hardcore. I'm going to pop up Wowhead real fast and see if uh, there's any news today. Because I, I was really hoping for some before the week's end. Nope, nothing new yet. Although apparently four days ago, uh, a hardcore guild that defeated Cthune 
on the Blood Cell Buccaneer server, so that's cool. Alright, so it's going to be the Storm Witches that are the ones that are casters that we don't need for the quest at all. We are looking for Harpies, Ambushers, Slayers, and Rogue Feathers. And of course, the first thing we find when we come down the, the uh, slopes here is a pack of Blood Fury Storm Witches. We also don't need the Basilisk for anything. Or the Chimeras. But what we are looking for are mounds of soil so we can plant those seeds that we collected uh, around the lake to the north. Hmm, so yeah, there, there are a lot of enemies here that we don't seem to need. It makes me wonder if there are quests elsewhere that send us to fight these guys, like for, the, for instance the Charred Ancients. What's that about? You know? Seems like it would be kind of important, and yet we don't have any quests for it. The Basilisk, sure, like there's usually like a mob like hyenas or something that we just don't need that's there to cause an inconvenience. But usually most of the other mobs are going to be stuff that we need for quests. Uh, over here we have wind callers. We don't need wind callers. We have been finding a lot of ambushers and that's been basically it. Also haven't seen any of the little seedling places on the ground, the little lumps of soil where we can plant the seeds. I haven't noticed any. It doesn't mean that I haven't walked by like five of them, so... There's that. Here we go, so yeah, it's like a, a mossy pile. That was an elite. That was an elite um, <laughs> Blood Fury Ripper. Thankfully, we, we somehow didn't aggro it. Oh good, now we're stunned for 10 seconds. This is perfect. Uh, it's better than aggroing that elite, which is what we almost did. Now if we can somehow fight our way out of this, uh, I'd, be, I'd be happy. That was really scary. <laughs> I forgot about that enemy. 
completely forgot that there was an elite here. So we're going to avoid that general area. Mm-hmm. Hey, at least we're not a fire mage, and at least these aren't water elementals. Um, also? Oh, well, fire shield could be good. He hasn't actually casted anything at us. Maybe he can't cast. Yeah, I feel like if he could cast, he'd have done it by now. Well, that's good. So this one, though, this one is casting. Hmm. This was a burning destroyer. I'll have to pay a little bit more attention. There's probably two different types, right?
I'm always surprised by how many more people there are in Stonetail and then places like either Silver Pine or Hillsbread. Uh, I want to click this pile. I feel like the Chimera is opposed to that. Let's drink for a minute and we'll see if he'll path away peaceably. If not, I may have to fight him. He's level 27, so I would rather not. What are the odds that there's anything left in this solid chest? What are the odds? Probably not very good. Hey, you know what? I need that. So that's cool that somebody decided to leave that there because they didn't need it. I do appreciate that. I do have to admit, this place is kind of a cluster F. Uh, if I were giving out advice, it would be probably to avoid this place entirely. Uh, that being said, if we're patient and we clear, we might be okay. But, you know, we can't help but have respawns right behind us. Uh, I've been playing with a much more zoomed out camera, and I feel like that is actually integral in most zones, in most areas, if you want to succeed at hardcore. It's, I, I'm pretty sure that the, the zoomed in camera, like playing way down here, oh, that did not get him, was responsible for at least three of my deaths. The Warlock, the Warrior, uh, nope, forgot the last one. It wasn't the, it wasn't the Paladin. Probably the Shaman, not seeing the Deforester respawn, and then taking those fire bolts killed us. Oh, yeah, probably the druid, too. We were zoomed in quite a bit on the druid, and we didn't see those respawns come in behind us soon enough. And then we had five. We didn't see the ones behind them that had already come in. Then we had these, and then these ones as we retreated. See how we saw her come in? Uh, we wouldn't have seen that over the shoulder, and we probably would have aggroed her. Now, we have a second. So yeah, even though I, I'm a person that prefers to play zoomed in, I like the aesthetic of it better. But honestly, when it comes to not getting killed, especially in areas like this, uh, zooming out is the way to go. Now, we, we don't have to play top-down. That's not necessary. It's the field of view that we want. Rule number, let's call it eight of surviving hardcore. Don't underestimate how much mana it's going to take to kill something. Because when you do that, you end up having to waste a potion. Like we just did.
Eek, that was a close one. You guys did let me know that uh, Mana Shield, you say, does only absorbs physical damage, and you're absolutely right. It says physical damage right there on the tooltip. For some reason, I thought it negated all damage. Is that Frost Barrier that I'm thinking of? Does Frost Barrier negate all damage? Because, yeah, for, for moments like that, <laughs> I really need another button. I really need another button to push that uh, can save us, because that was too close, right? We couldn't, we don't even have a potion to pop anyway. Looking in the bags, we are in a precarious spot. Yeah, we have no health potions at all. Not good. Rule number 15, always have health and mana potions. What is the old saying? I've always, I've always liked it. Those who cannot do, teach. This guy has so much HP. He's level 27. He's just taking a beating and now we have to run. Now we are running. There we go. We'll go back once we leash this guy and we see what happened there is we were zoomed in. We were zoomed in even for a second. It only took a second and we got ourselves into trouble with it. Mm-hmm. That's how it happens. Luckily the escape route was cleared. So we were able just to run away. I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna let this be on go on cooldown for a minute so that maybe we get to use it twice in the fight because he burns through it pretty quickly and being able to do it twice would be helpful I think he's through it after the second hit we, we absorb it all here then we take some on the second but yeah it's still not, it's still not I should have waited a little bit longer before engaging him but that was better than the last one we fought We'll come back for him. I think this guy's going to path away. Let's come over here and try to snag this. So we're done with the Gaia Seeds, now we gotta focus on finding the different types of Harpies we haven't encountered yet. 
and the fire elements. I think we want to head down into this area here, the southwestern part of this area. And I think maybe down there we'll find some of the slayers and possibly the rogue feathers. Let's go have a look. Oh, she ran. <laughs> Instead of following us to her death, she ran. That, that was smart. Yeah, very, very, very smart. There we go. Luckily, a little opening opened here. Ooh, what did we get? A blood ring. A plus five stamina. You know what? I'll take it. We don't have a second ring, so that's actually an amazing find. Gives us a little bit more HP, so, you know, maybe that's, what, ha another hit, perhaps, that we could take. So, yeah, definitely huge at this level. Huge find. Uh, let's see, we're getting, we're having pretty good luck staying along the hillside here. My only worry is uh, that wyverns could spawn over here, and that tree ends might path up here. It's kind of my only worry right now. Like, here comes this tree. Maybe we blink this way. Well, that didn't get us anywhere, did it? 
Thankfully she procced Frostbite off of our armor. And we didn't pull the tree in. I don't want to push any more into this area. I see Ripper and we are going to get out. So now in Hillsbred we were able to blink at hills and it would, it would put us where we need, needed to be. And on these hills though we're not able to blink at all. It's a little bit inconsistent. Maybe these hills here are a little bit too steep. Ah, uh, that was not at all what I wanted. And I am convinced the best thing I can do is just to leash this guy. I'm glad at least that the Incendite is a 100% drop rate off these guys. Because there aren't a ton of them in any one area and they are tough. So we need three more. And we, we need to find Slayers and Rogue Feathers. I, I have no idea where they're hiding all these mobs. But there, there's got to be like a giant pack of them somewhere. Because so far we have one and one and that is not going to get the quest done. And I really don't want to be out here just not knowing where any of them are at. Here we go. Here's some rogue feather. Yeah, this is the area for it. But oh my god, this area looks so deadly. We're going to get magicked out by these guys if we're not careful. I'm going to have to clear. Oh no, we are just in a bad effing spot here. I think we can kill just her right here. We have to do it quickly. We need some big crits right now. Big crits. Those are not crits. We are not doing good here. This is this is not good. Okay, thankfully she runs. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> we we can't fight many of those. We can't fight any of those without full mana, full HP. And we can't get ambushed by anything here. If we get ambushed by anything here, we have to pray that we can run. Because we're not going to be able to deal with it. Oh my god, the blink. The blink is failing us. We have so much mana that even the Sweet Nectar that we just opened up at level 25 hardly refills anything at all. That is the reality of what we're dealing with.
I feel like that one's the bait, right? It's the bait, it pulls us in, and then we get we get aggroed by like three storm witches. I can't seem to get to it. Maybe with it coming at us. Let's go take out this fire elemental if we can, and then we'll see if some of these guys have respawned. I'd like to get all of the slayers and rogue feathers down here, and then we can circle back around to the north and get the rest of what we need.
Slayer's Cuffs. Uh, male with 4 strength and 4 stamina. Very nice for a warrior. Not something that we need. Uh, let's see. Looking for red. We have bait here. Trying to pull us back again. Okay, so that's two quests done. We, we got all the incendiarite that we need. We need one more of each type of harpy, and then we can get out of here. We're so close to getting out of here safely. We, I mean, I feel like we have to be patient now, but now the respawn rate has completely taken a dump on us. And it has totally stopped spawning in the guys that we need. It wants us to come over here and try to fight these guys, which is invariably going to get us killed. And yet, it's probably populated the guys that we need back there to fulfill the quest. 
And so, yeah, I mean, we're just gonna hang out here for a minute. The problem is, like, I don't even want to fight any of these guys for kill XP because they, they have such a high likelihood of being able to kill us. I mean, they could easily kill us. So, yeah, ultimately not worth it. Here we go. Here's a rogue feather. This will be the last rogue feather we need. Now we need one slayer to spawn in. Preferably not on top of us, though. Uh, would be nice. Maybe somewhere adjacent to us. Would be preferable. Kind of curious, when you guys see me go into like a, a hard area or like a high death rate area, do you check the end of the episode to see if we're at the character creation screen? Or do you just roll with it? I'm sure different people do different things. When I used to be big into watching The Walking Dead when it would release each episode, I would always spoil it for myself first. And uh, I would try to find out, you know, what happened. What's going to happen. I want to know who dies before I actually watch it, so... Uh, cause that was how I enjoyed it. I just like, I just wanted to know and then I just wanted to enjoy w how things played out. Maybe it's time to move. Maybe it's time to get some mana back and then move. But then again, I look at the uh, locations for the Slayers and I don't think we can find any to the north of us. I think we have to get the Slayers back here. Maybe over here? Is that really going to be better? Not if we aggro everything getting to it. I'm going to run straight back to lease this guy and just I'm going to hope that's enough space to get rid of him because I really don't want to fight him. Yeah, there's the last Slayer. We need 15 enemies deep of shit that we don't. We were, we were probably definitely better off where we were. Um, I, I don't... I have no idea how I'm going to get to that. It's going to involve so much. Alright, I, I did not want to, did not think we were going to get to. We are in a very, 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 very bad position now. Uh, we're lucky that this little route out is clear, otherwise we're dead here. I'm. We need to finish this, <laughs> yeah. We, we need to finish this and we need to get out. Um, 
becoming like a frayed rope here. My nerves are just about shot with this place. And like something tells me that like being patient and clearing them is not the answer. So I'm not doing that. Because I, I feel like sitting in one place is going to get stuff respawned right on top of me. And I need to keep moving. If I could, can I see this guy back there still? Where, where am I clearing to now? I feel like I'm clearing nowhere. Yeah, I don't even see the guy we were working towards anymore. Oh man, this is, this is getting dire. What do I do? Do I go back to where we were at? And then what? We need to find a place over here to reset. Maybe we're going to have to deal with this guy. Okay, nope. We are just in a bad situation now. We're, we're running all the way out. We're not passing go. Uh, we're not doing anything. We'll be, we'll be really lucky if we don't die here. Yeah, I just need to be out of here. And then we can, we can figure out if we can work our way back in or not more safely. The, fa the terrifying fact of the matter is right now that nowhere is safe. I, I have no safe place to go. I, I don't think I'm going to be able to drop aggro on anything. I, I have nowhere safe to go. And I don't even know if this leads out. And this is just a horrible position to be in right now. Well, there we go. We, we've been chased all the way out of the veil. I mean, I, I didn't see any, anything else we could do. We could have sat there and tried to fight a hundred enemies, but they would have kept respawning. We, we wouldn't have gotten out alive. Now I have to decide if I can even finish this quest or not. We need one, one, and one, but right now, man, it feels like a trap. It feels like a, hey, come back in here and lose your character. That's what it feels like. And here we go, we're, we're falling back again. We, we just can't get any luck with the pulls. They're pathing all over the place, they're standing right on top of each other. It's, it's absolutely horrendous. It's so hard to walk away when I know we literally only have to kill two more things. Should definitely be doable. And I don't, I don't want to leave it. And you know, whatever, if that gets me killed, so be it. I think we've done everything we can to be careful here. We should be able to get this quest done. I think trying to tackle all of these at once was just too much, too much strain. We're going to have to cut through the middle here. Which is really iffy.
Okay, I see the last Slayer we need. There's 70 enemies between us and them, and probably 12 more that are going to path in front of us while we fight. So, yeah. Good luck to us. We'll see if we can kill this Rogue Feather, then maybe we pull her back here. Try to fight her away from the Storm Witches. Alright, we are done, and we are we are hearthing out. Uh, probably not in time before the storm which aggroes us. You wanna bet? You wanna bet? You wanna bet? You wanna bet these kill us? <laughs> uh, we gotta get out of here, man. I just wanna get out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Just leave me the F alone so I can hearth out. This is about as triggered by an area as I've been. I don't recommend anybody come here. And if you're going to come here, do do one quest at a time. And then go back to town and then do something else. Strength and honor. Way too stressful. Way too much risking of the biscuit. The biscuit is done being risked for today. The biscuit is going back in the cupboard. Um, yeah, I have so many light feathers. I'm just going to have to start selling some of them. Uh, stamina int greater than 5 stamina. Don't know when we got that, but I'll take it. We'll sell that one. Farewell. Okay, let's get these turned in and uh, we'll hit level 26, which is great. Well met. We're not we're not going back for Ripper, she's an elite. Ah, I've been expecting you. Six spirit boots? Ah uh, be at your back. I don't know. I feel like maybe we just keep what we have. Yeah. We did hit twenty six. Uh, let's take another point in Shatter. We haven't really been seeing a benefit from it yet. We've had lots of frozen targets that we haven't been able to crit, but you know, by the time we max it out, it'll be 50%, so that's not bad. Uh, after that, maybe we go into Cold Snap? Permafrost would be okay. I didn't realize Ice Barrier is the last talent. Oh boy. Thought it was something we would train at one point. I didn't even think much about it. Okay, yeah, that is everything here turned in. I don't think we'll be back here for a while. Uh, the last thing we'll have to do here is up here. There's another quest that takes us back into this cave, but I'm pretty sure there's an elite in there we have to deal with like right away. So we probably won't be doing that. Uh, for now, what are we going to do? Let's let's teleport back to Undercity and we will train our level 26 stuff. I think officially this might be the highest level that we have hit. Let me go ahead and let me check. Let me do a little fact check. Let's take a look at the Druid. Oh, I don't want to pull it up here like that. Let's see. If I can quickly find out what level we were at when we died. Okay, not what I wanted. Let's take a look. Here we go. Uh, we were... 
we were level 24. Oh no. <laughs> oh, so level 26 is it. We are now officially the highest level that we've gotten to in classic hardcore. The, the priest was level 25. And I thought the druid had got level 25 or 26, but apparently the druid was level 24. So there we go. We, we have eclipsed the barrier. I hope this means that we don't die soon, but I, I think I, I'm not going to do anything risky like the charred veil again anytime soon. Uh, we did need some XP wow. to get us to 26, so... Uh, let's take a look. Cone of Cold, yes. Thank you. Frost Nova rank 2, amazing. And Frostbolt rank 5. How powerful would that have been against those guys had we waited one level? Victory Very cool. Let's get that stuff out to our bar immediately. Uh, Frost Nova 2. What changes here? 21 to 20. Is it just the damage? Yeah, it's only the damage that changes. That, that's not really what we use that for. And we get Cone of Cold. I don't really know where I want to put Cone of Cold. Actually, I don't have a great spot for it. I, I like my food keybinds, but I guess it's time to, uh, time to give one of them up. There we go. All right, guys, I'm going to take a break here and decompress after all that stress in the chart unveiled. Thank you for hanging out, especially if you are still around. I really do appreciate the support and take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. We will see you back in Azeroth again very soon. Bye for now.